Hills with Lobo, you are viewing Detroit, America's Great Comeback City. And Lonely Planets, number two city destination for 2018. Vlog number 14, the Detroit professional sports scene. Remember, a new vlog is published every Friday. In this vlog, I'll play sports reporter by giving you some background and latest news on the Detroit Lions, the Detroit Tigers, the Detroit Red Wings, and the Detroit Pistons. Stay tuned and you too will be up to date on the Detroit professional sports scene. As my trailer said way back in September, I was drawn from Victoria, British Columbia to Detroit, Michigan due to an urgent family matter. Well, this is five months later. It's also 14 vlogs later, and that has given me a certain insight into Detroit as America's great comeback city. So at this point, I'll draw three conclusions that you may or may not agree with. The biggest factor in making Detroit America's great comeback city has been, very simply put, Dan Gilbert. And here are a few clips from vlog number eight, Dan Gilbert making Detroit great again, to illustrate that point very quickly. South on Woodward Avenue from Grand Circus Park, the first building is a David Whitney building, and most of the buildings down the west side of Woodward, all the way down to Campus Marshes Park, have the imprint of Bedrock, the real estate entity of Dan Gilbert. Look at the east side of Woodward Avenue from Grand Circus Park, past the Broderick Towers, and it's basically the same thing, the bedrock influence. So keep Dan Gilbert in mind as I'll be coming back to him later on in this report on the Detroit sports scene. The second biggest factor in making Detroit America's great comeback city has been Illich Holdings, a company founded by the late Mike Illich and his wife, Marianne. Their big contribution has been to the creation of the district, the area north of Grand Circus Park, as well as their ownership in two of the major sports teams in Detroit. The Illich family has always been um, a big driving force for Detroit. They started with Little Caesars Pizza. Um, today they have Little Caesars Arena. They also own the Red Wings, the Tigers, uh, Motor City Casino, Olympia Entertainment, the Fox Theater. <laughs> they also own the Red Wings. The Directly across the street from Illich Holdings and the Fox Theater, you will find Comerica Park, the relatively new baseball stadium for the Detroit Tigers. They um, are a very important um, family um, for Detroit uh, moving forward. Um, the third factor that makes Detroit America's great comeback city is that last year for the first time all four of its professional sports teams played in the district. That was completed when the Detroit Pistons of the National Basketball Association agreed to move from the suburbs in Auburn Hills to play at Little Caesars Arena, the same arena where the Detroit Red Wings played. As a result of this move downtown by the Pistons, Detroit now has the distinction of being the only city in North America to have its four professional teams, the Detroit Tigers, the Detroit Lions, the Detroit Pistons, and the Detroit Red Wings, all within a few blocks of each other. That's a very important point because formerly sports fans would go to Pontiac, Michigan to see the Lions play and Auburn Hills to see the Pistons play. Now they all come to the district and that brings a lot of money and a lot of buzz. Talk about proximity from Comerica Park where the Tigers play, you can see the blue lettering of Ford Field, home of the Detroit Lions. So are the Detroit Lions part of Illich Holdings? No, they are not. They're owned by Martha Firestone Ford, widow of William Clay Ford, great grandson of Henry Ford, founder of the Ford Motor Company. I'm talking to uh, Tate Lyon and uh, what is the value of the sports teams here in Detroit? Well, uh, the value of sports team is uh, it's just a lot. You know, uh, football is the main sport that's really here. And that's uh, the Detroit? That's the uh, Detroit uh, Lions. Right. Who are they playing right now? They are playing the Carolina Panthers. Right. And you yeah. say that's the number one sports team here in Detroit. Uh, here in Detroit, football is the number one sport. Right. And 
So there you heard it, the Detroit Lions of the National Football League are the main sport in town. So let's start with the sports news about the Detroit Lions. If you talk about the golden standard of coaching, it would have to be Bill Belichick of the New England Patriots, who led the team to five Super Bowl victories, the last one being last year. Part of that great success, of course, has to go to quarterback Tom Brady, the outstanding quarterback in the National Football League. You can't have a great team without defense, and the defensive coach for the New England Patriots was Matt Patricia. So the big, big news about the Detroit Lions last week was that coach Matt Patricia was named head coach of the Detroit Lions. So did the vaunted New England Patriots defense hold up against the Philadelphia Eagles in this year's Super Bowl? Well, no, not according to the score, as the Philadelphia Eagles won their very first Super Bowl ever. Anyway, there's much excitement here in Detroit on the part of the media and fans that Matt Patricia will be the person to lead the Detroit Lions into the promised land this coming season. Now, another very exciting aspect of Little Caesars Arena is that the Detroit Pistons moved from the suburbs of Auburn Hills to downtown Detroit at Little Caesars Arena. There you have it, the Detroit Pistons, ranked number seven in the Eastern Division of the National Basketball League. Number seven, at least that's where they were when they did vlog number nine. They're now in ninth position, potentially out of the playoffs. I am from Victoria, British Columbia, so I have to mention at number two, the Toronto Raptors. Well, good news. It looks like in the meantime, the Raptors moved to first place. The Pistons are not part of Illich Holdings. They were bought in 2011 by billionaire Tom Gores, who is a founder of Platinum Equity, a private equity firm with headquarters in Beverly Hills, California. Well, Beverly Hills is just a stone's throw from Los Angeles, and Los Angeles has two basketball teams, the Los Angeles Lakers and the Los Angeles Clippers. He must have liked the play of Blake Griffin, a star of the Los Angeles Clippers. Two weeks ago, a jolt was provided to the Detroit sports scene as the Pistons traded for the all-star Blake Griffin. That jolt provided a five-game win streak, but things have cooled off considerably since then. Will Detroit make the playoffs? Stay tuned. Four times a week, I go to Planet Fitness to work out and sit on a life cycle for half an hour while I'm watching the Detroit Pistons play. I have become a complete and total Piston fan. I've got to give it a plug to Planet Fitness because at a cost of $10 a month, hey, you just can't beat that. GMC has to ship those to Chicago and those will go in the GMC room. I don't have a There you go. Before going to the auto show, I had never heard of Dylan Larkin. Upon seeing him, I was struck how this unassuming young man of 21 years old could play in the National Hockey League. Not only can he play, but two days ago he scored one of the goals in the 2-1 victory over the Anaheim Ducks. Okay, if that's not enough, Larkin's goal gave him a team-high 43 points in 55 games. That's pretty good. A couple of days later, I had a chance to talk to the Chevy rep, and she said he was a really nice guy. In a bit of nostalgia, the Free Film Festival here in Detroit in April will kick off with a film called The Russian Five. That's a throwback to the Red Wings' glory days under Scotty Bowman when he recruited five Russians, Larinov, Kotslov, Fedorov, Konstantinov, and Fedosov to lead Detroit to two Stanley Cup victories. As of this date, the Red Wings are clinging to the last playoff spot. I must mention the Toronto Maple Leafs because they haven't been in the playoffs forever. They're now in third position. But what about the uh, Detroit Tigers who play at Comerica Park right here next to Ford Field? What's up with them? In my videos, you'll often see me wearing this classic baseball cap of the Detroit Tigers with the iconic D. By the way, the city of Detroit is often referred to as the D. This would be a great time of the year to be in Lakeland, Florida. If you're a baseball fan, you know that this is spring fever time. 
Well, that's the time that the baseball teams start their training in Florida. And it's in Lakeland, Florida, that the Tigers will be starting their training camp next week. Dare I say it, but not much is expected of the Detroit Tigers this year as they are in what they call a rebuilding year. Should I still be in Detroit on March the 29th? I'll definitely go to the opening game. If I can get a ticket, it's not too expensive. Now, getting back to Detroit businessman Dan Gilbert, I did say in vlog number eight, Dan Gilbert making Detroit great again, that Gilbert was the owner of the Cleveland Cavaliers of the National Basketball Association, a rival to the Detroit Pistons. I also said that because of friction between the two, LeBron was shipped to the Miami Heat, only to be brought back to win the NBA championship. With the losing season, there are reports of friction again between LeBron and Dan Gilbert. Also reports of LeBron not coming back next season with the Cavaliers. You can't exactly accuse Dan Gilbert of laying grass grow under his feet. As a headline on February 8th reads, Cavaliers basically trade everyone away. Internet goes berserk. In a blockbuster, the Cavaliers traded away six players to one last desperate time surround LeBron James with adequate players. The result seems to be golden as the Cavaliers have turned their season around and are on a winning streak. It would be great to see LeBron James in an NBA final for the last time for the Cleveland Cavaliers. And that's it for the Detroit sports scene.